Hello everyone, Noland here. In this video, I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how to make a very small scale, but still pretty well detailed, Panzer VIII mouse tank. Uh, before, you, before you is all of the parts that you're going to need to build this. Uh, there's a few parts that you can substitute um, in other colors, or just change out uh, two parts for one part. But for the most part, this is how I'm going to be building it, and this is all the parts I have available. So, you're going to need a modified one-by-one -one plate with this double stud sort of attachment hanging off the side of it. Four regular one-by-one -one plates in light gray. As you can see, most everything here is going to be in light gray. Uh, two studs in light gray, as well as a third stud that is hollow. There has to be at least one hollow stud. Color for this does not matter. Uh, you're also going to need two one-by-one -one round tiles, again, in light gray. We then have six one-by-two plates in light gray, a two-by-two -two plate in light gray, a two-by-three, and then two three-by-threes. Up here, uh, these black parts are going to be making up the tracks of the vehicle. So for these, you need four one-by-one -one plates in black, and two one-by-two -two plates in black. And then for these parts here, you can either use what I'm using, which is two, another two one-by-one -one plates in black and another two one-by-twos, or you can stu substitute these for just two one-by-threes in black. I don't have those, so I'm using this. You then have four one-by-one one brackets. Two of them need to be pointing upwards, like this, and the other two need to be pointing downwards, like this. These two color is not super important. These two need to be in light gray. You then have five one-by-two tiles, two one-by-three tiles, and a one-by-one one tile. Then you have two one-by-two grills, and then this modified one by two, whatever it is that this piece is supposed to be called. Over here, you then have a short Technic pin, three one by two cheese slopes, eight one by one cheese slopes, and then a four long rod or pin, whatever you want to call it. But that's all the parts that you're going to need. Okay, and now for the build. So we're going to work from the bottom up while building, which means you're going to need most of your track parts. So we are going to lay these out as follows. So we're going to have a couple of one by ones up front, one by twos, another couple of one-by-ones, and then these one-by-twos. Oh, actually, no, I've got that backwards. You put the one-by-ones in the back. And then you are going to connect these one-by-ones together using some one-by-two tiles. And you're going to do that twice. These will be going in the back. Just do that again on this side. Sorry if my hands are kind of getting in the way, but... So you've now got these connected together. These are the parts that can be uh, substituted for those 1x3s if you have those. Um, so then on top of that, we're going to take one of our three by three top plates, nah, not tiles, and we're going to attach them on like that, then flip it over. You're then going to have uh, these one by ones here in the middle. Again, I got this backwards initially, sorry for that. And then your one by twos. And that's going to be the bottom of the tank. You're also going to have 
a one by one or one by two here and a one by one. This is a set that can be replaced again by one by threes, but I do not have any of those spare in this color at the moment. So yeah. Next, you're going to take two one by twos and on one side of them, you are going to attach two one by ones in black on the bottom. And these will then hang off on the front end, making up the elevated part of the forward end of the running gear. You're then going to put your 2x2 two two here, followed by two 1x2s on either side with a one by one filling in this corner. And then while we're here, we're going to go ahead and do the lower front plate, which is going to require one of these brackets and a, bump the camera there, one by one cheese slope. So you're going to connect the cheese slope onto the bracket like that, and then pop that on there. It's probably not super stable on account of me not using 1x3s, but that'll work just fine once we get more things on. So now that you have those in position, you're going to put on a 2x3 here, and you're also going to put a 3x3 three three here. But before we put that on, we need to make the rear plates of the tank, which is going to require these two brackets and then this third bracket. So for this third bracket, you're going to attach onto the bottom of it a one by one plate, just to fill things in, and another one by one cheese slope. This time, oh, sorry about that, facing downwards like that. And you're going to attach that onto the bottom center side of this 3x3. Three three. You're then going to take these brackets and attach them on either side, again with one by one cheese slopes, but this time facing upwards in the opposite direction from the rear bottom plate. So the, this will make up the back of the tank. So for the front, you're then going to take a one by two cheese slope and whoops, put that there and then fill in the spot next to it with a one by one cheese slope. That makes up the front of the tank. So then for the rear fuel drum, we're going to take another one of our one by two tiles. This modified one by one. And then two of our light gray studs and then two of our tiles. So you can probably see where this is going, but you're going to put one of the studs on either side of the modified end of the plate, followed by your tiles. And then on this end, you're going to be attaching your one by two tile. And that is what is going to be connecting the fuel drum to the actual side of the vehicle. So the fuel drum sticks out a little bit too much, but it's not too bad. On top of this, we're then going to work on the engine deck, 
which is going to consist of a 1x3 tile placed up at the very front, and then Ahead of that, you're going to, or sorry, rear of that, you're going to put a one by one chi slope in that orientation. That's going to represent the sort of shielding that protects the engine deck. You're then going to put rear of that a one by one tile, and then your hollow stud of whatever color, and that's going to be the base of the turret. You're then going to take another two of your 1 by 2 tiles, attach them there, and then your 1 by 2 grills are going to go ahead of that. And that is the hull complete. So now on to the turret. So all the rest of these parts are going to be used for the turret, and the turret's probably the simplest part of the build. So first off, you're going to take this, whatever the heck this thing is, and you're going to put that on top of your remaining 1x2. This is going to be the core of the turret. You're then going to cover up the top of it with your 1x3 tile, and then the sides are going to get covered with the remaining cheese slopes, with the 1x2s in the front so that you're covering up this sort of whole rod extension there. And then your 1x1s rear of that. So then you want to straighten everything out. And a benefit of how 1 by 2 chi slopes are cast is that the, or not cast, but injection molded, is that the mold mark is actually apparent on this side. So you actually have a little bit of representation for where the machine gun is. So then your final parts are your 1 by 2, or sorry, 1 by 1 plate. This Technic pin that you have to slot in there, and then your gun barrel. That all goes together like that. Slots into the hole, and then this stud, this underside connection here, connects onto the center there. And now you have your tiny sort of micro scale mouse tank. It's got a rotating turret, pretty decent engine detailing, good angling for the upper and lower front plate, as well as some angling present for the rear of the vehicle. Your fuel drum. Yeah. So that's how you make a micro scale mouse tank out of Legos.